Apple's iPhone 5C now leaks in more of the basic colors we should expect. Google goes all out with their software designs for their new applications. And if you like engravings on the new Moto X, you might not be in luck. I'm Jaime Rivera. And the reason why I don't like engravings is because my name is tough enough to pronounce, but this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news. Google has updated their applications, YouTube and Maps, and in the case of YouTube, what makes it cool is that you can now detach videos and watch these as you browse for other videos. Kind of cool. And aside from that, in the case of Maps, for example, you can now get Waze information for traffic data. So make sure you update your applications in iOS and Android. Now let's start talking about some rumors as our radars have been all over the HTC ZAR for the longest time and we finally get some press renders of the device. Looks a lot like the HTC One, you get boom sound and everything. The design and the chassis look really good even though it does seem a little affordable on that side. But aside from that, we do get some Beats audio in the logo at the bottom so it could be that, uh, you know, the rumors from yesterday were probably just that. And speaking of rumors, we finally get some photographs of the iPhone 5C in black, or, well, so they say. I mean, if you look at the photo and look closely, and you look at all the edges where the camera goes and everything, this leak looks a lot like the iPhone 5 with a case that snuck so well on the device that this is just an iPhone 5 with a case. Uh, the glossy design in the back and everything does not resemble any past product, obviously not the iPhone 3GS in any case, so it does seem as if Apple is probably not building this phone in black or we never know just stay tuned for that and speaking of some odd rumors remember all that flexible display technology that we've heard about at trade shows but haven't really seen in action well it seems that samsung and lg have both placed orders for this technology for products that they plan to launch in the fall and the only cool products that get launched in the fall at least from samsung are the galaxy note lineup so uh, i'm not gonna imply anything just here you never know but still we're still trying to figure out what the whole point of a flexible display is if the rest of the chassis of the phone is not, so we'll see. And finally, for the odd news of the day, that custom-made Moto X is now landing on everybody's doorstep, and as it turns out, things are both good and bad. I mean, our own Taylor Martin ordered his own, and, well, he just sent us photos of it, and it looks really cool, but still, some people are complaining that either the engraving that they want is not available or not permitted, or in some cases, we've even heard of editors of other publications complaining that they get a call, like, two days later from Motorola stating that, sadly, their engraving will not ship with their phone, and, well, the phone is already shipped actually so they can't really do much but buyers beware remember that the moto x can be returned after a month if you're not happy with it so that leads me to the question of the day uh, what do you think of all these custom made options for the moto x or any smartphone is it something that has really compelled you to consider the moto x in my particular case i do love the custom colors and everything i just don't think i'd engrave a phone just to make it easier to sell but leave us a comment down below what do you think Friends, you know the drill. If you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.